Hey everyone, and welcome back to another episode of Nino Kuni, Wrath of the White Witch. Dodge, dodge that rough. Uh, we are on our way. Oh, dodge everything. Uh, we are on our way uh, to the secret door, uh, the conductor's door, uh, to take on the guardian. Uh, so it's been a long time since I've been able to uh, to record an episode here. So bear with me as I get my uh, Nino Kuni thumbs back. I don't know if that's that's really the the phrase that I want to go with, um, this is not going to go well. I feel like this is going to be a multi-part series, uh, as I, uh, hopefully, uh, can figure out a strategy in order to beat the Guardian of, of all worlds, which I was actually reading a little bit of a, a strategy, uh, and I guess this is the, his, uh, one attack is the most powerful attack in the game. How's it going, Conductor? Uh, maybe I'll take a screenshot of you. Oh, the door. Maybe I'll get something of the door. Let's get a nice, uh, let's frame this up nice and, ah, here we go. Hey, yeah, this is one of, there we go. Sure. Uh, maybe a little, something a little like this. <laughs> All right, whatever. Uh, let's get on with it. Uh, yeah, so the one, the one attack that this guy has is, like, the most powerful attack in the game. Uh, so that's fun. Um... There's going to be a lot of trial and error, I think. Uh, hopefully this doesn't turn out to be like the Zodiac, <laughs> the Zodiac series, where it took me like 10 episodes, but this guy is pretty powerful, so. I am, uh... I wouldn't say that I'm not confident, uh... But maybe I'm not as confident in my my abilities what uh all right let's get in here and let's just get this over with shall we hello mr guardian uh but i don't think he doesn't have an attack that hits everybody um he has like a a wide area area of effect or whatever attack that hits like a wide berth but it's not like a an attack that hits everybody at once. Uh, the one attack that he has can be avoided as well. Uh, that one, uh, the overload, apparently can be avoided. You just gotta give him a give him a little bit of a wide berth. Uh, but it looks like we uh, got a nice uh, disrupt there, so that's that's good. Ah, and another one. Good job, Barkship. Maybe we can just keep hitting him. If we can just keep hitting him, maybe we'll, uh, maybe this won't be so bad. If we can just interrupt the attacks. Uh. Uh, Footmon, have you seen them orb, orb thingies in the middle of his chest? Look proper dangerous they do, but vulnerable too. Go on, give them a whack. Well, if I could target them. Ah, this, okay, so this attack right here. So it can be, it can be like avoided, as you can see, I just kind of ran away from it. It does a lot of damage though. Like it can, apparently it can wipe, well we saw it last time, um, or at the end of the last episode. Uh, it certainly can wipe out. <laughs> A person in like one hit, so like this. And if we can just get behind, we're fine. The I think the the real problem is whoops. Uh like, the real problem is... Once... Uh, please don't come after me. Once the others go down... Nope. Uh, do not hop in front of that. Well, maybe this isn't so bad. <laughs> I thought... Uh, maybe it gets worse. I'm not gonna jinx myself. 
let's just say things are not going as bad as I, as I initially thought they were they were gonna go. All right, guys, get in there. All right, all right, all right, all right. You can actually just like get behind him too and start hitting him. Which is kind of cool, I guess. Just gonna take a lot of. Just gonna take a lot of hits. Ah, run away! Now that one. That one definitely does have some. Uh, I should have probably. Uh... Esther, if you could heal yourself, I am up against the wall, I guess. Just trapped in the. Trapped in the cloak. Oliver's cloak. All right, now we need to run away. <laughs> uh, Esther, I don't know if it's worth. Oh, that's fine. That's fine. That's fine. It's fine. Everything's fine. Tinny the tank, taking on the Great Divide. Better get some cool stuff out of this, I'll tell you what. Alright, everybody defend, if you can. Uh, let's switch to Oliver real quick. Let's get uh, Swain back up. Maybe go collect some of these orbs as well. Get a nice def uh, defend. Get an Astra. Whew, Swain took a hit from that. Uh, keep divi uh, defending, guys. I don't know if this... Hopefully that all defense is... Uh, okay, that did not... That did not uh, pair up very well, did it? The all-out defense ran out just as uh, he hit that Great Divide. But! Uh, hello. Let's uh, run out of the way. Drippy's about to get destroyed. I should have... Uh, I kind of want to save that. The Phoenix Breath, I want to save that for... I think that's going to come more in handy for the Trials. And this fight is going okay. I really just need to... Keep on the move. I don't know if that's gonna hit Tinny or not. I hit him, kinda. All right, Barkship, let's get in here. Uh, defend, defend, guys, defend. Get Swain, and I need to not forget about myself. Plus, I probably need to get some... Oh, I... <laughs> I didn't see the... Uh... Oh, this is not going to be good. Can I get into the cutscene, please? Is he still going to get the Great Divide off? This is it going to suck all around? <laughs> if he can still get the Great Divide off. Uh, okay. Everybody defend. Whew. Just missed me. Almost clipped me. I would like to keep Esther in Swain up. Dang, that's a long spear. If you could just if you could just maybe stop chasing me, that'd be fantastic. Defend guys. Sending Drippy for some hits.
You know, you think that the guardian of all worlds would really bring the heat. <laughs> we'll just... Oh, nice! There we go. Hey, I thought that was going to be a lot harder than it actually was. Maybe it's because on the last on the last attempt, I was not healed up and I did not have the MP. I full-heartedly thought that I was going to get in a, a reward in this room. And, uh, shocker, I did not. It was, my reward was getting my butt kicked. Uh, okay, everybody except, uh, Babana over there. Tiny, uh, not leveling up, I don't know why. Little lame of you, if I do say so myself. Uh, but that's a little, that's a good, uh, it's a good little boost for everybody. Ah, the maximum, so we can, uh... There we go, and that's what I like to see, the maximum of the species, so that I can... Ah, and Dean. Dean was in there, too. Uh, let's go ahead and, uh... Uh, yep. Yep, uh... Wait, you just hit that, right? It was you and Dean. Yeah, 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 yeah. Here. Uh, oh gosh, what do we... I don't know what you... I don't know what these guys get evolved into or what the best evolution is. I don't know if it matters. I'm gonna hold off on that for now. I'm gonna look that up later and we can finish this uh, thing. Hey, do I get a uh, reward? Oh, there is like a secret room over this way. Not a, not a secret room. It's very obvious that, that there's a room here and a door, but... Never mind. Uh, okay. Hey, buddy. Wonderful, Oliver. You really are the savior. But the guardian, we made him disappear. No need to worry. As I told you, the guardian of, of worlds is the world itself. So I destroyed the world. Uh, they are one in the same. Nothing you could do... Uh, nothing you can do could ever make it disappear. Likewise, nothing it can do could ever do the same to you. I just have not got a single clue what is going on here. I don't even know why we fought that thing in the first place. You don't know why, but I thought you said you were curious. And now your curiosity is sated? Uh, isn't that enough? You are the savior, blessed with the most precious virtue of all. Huh? What do you mean? You have restored numerous virtues to people's hearts. Uh, enthusiasm, kindness, courage, restraint, belief, confidence, love, ambition, even humor. All of these are indispensable, but they are not enough to save the world. Something else is required, and you have it. It glows within your heart. A deep, warm glow that... Flippin' heck, bun! <laughs> Will you just get to the point? Oh, impatient, I see. Very well, the virtue required to save this world is... Curiosity. Eh? What's that supposed to mean? Exactly. What? Who? Why? Where? Curiosity is the virtue that compels one to seek answers, to explore the boundary of one's own world, and discover the next. I... I think I understand. I started out on this journey because I wanted to save my mom, because I wanted to see her again. But even though I couldn't do that, just being here, seeing all these new things, and meeting all these great people, it's really been something. I mean, sure... It's been tough at times, and I've felt sad, but, yes, it sure has been an awful lot of fun. Correct, that's the answer I was waiting for. But, you know, your adventure isn't over yet. There's still something you need to do, isn't there? Yes, there is. But you don't need to do it right now. No, I've prepared a little treat for you instead, seeing if you, as you've made it this far. Go ahead, open the next door. Watch it be another guardian. Guardian of the worlds, now it's the guardian of the universes, the guardian of the galaxies, the guardian, <laughs> yep, it's the guardians of the galaxy. Okay, is this, you're flipping choking, mon, Motorville, hey, ain't that the conductor over by there? Let's get after him and find out what's going on. Uh, hey buddy, this, come on. The citizens of Motorville are, <laughs> are like, there's a kid chasing a giant rabbit.
Hello. Oh, the car's here. This ain't the Motorville we, uh, Motorville we know and love, Mun. There's something funny going on by here. Are we dreaming or something? Dreaming? Most certainly not. This world is as real as any other. It's just a little different from the ones you've visited. So this Motorville is different from my Motorville? Haha, <laughs> exactly right, Oliver. Now come with me, I'll show you around. Well, yeah, it is definitely different. There's a giant <laughs> rabbit running around. Do we get to see who's under the mask at some point? What do you think of this world then, Oliver? Well, it sure is different. I mean, I know all these people, but there's something about them that's not quite the same. Ooh, is it? Is this like past Motorville before everything happened? Hehe, <laughs> didn't your fairy friend tell you there are any number of parallel worlds out there? Oh, is my mother here? Is my mother alive? Uh, your world, his world, and so on, an infinite number. Come on, Ollie boy. That was one of the first things I said to you, Mun. Don't tell me you weren't listening. Oh, I didn't realize you were such an expert, little fairy. I must have misheard you when you said you thought you were dreaming. Well, never mind. On with the show. Oh, that's a nice car. Have we ever seen that car before? It's a little... Ex 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 exuberant color on that color. Or that car. Uh, time for a moment's respite. I think... Uh, I think... So, uh... uh so tell me, Oliver, are you getting used to this world? Uh, yeah, it's just, do I exist here? No one seems to know who I am. Haha, <laughs> how adorable. Of course you don't exist here. In this world, you were never born. Huh? Oh, I'll tell you all about it very soon, but now it's time to carry on with the tour. Oh my gosh, I can't believe I'm chasing this rabbit through. Through the streets of Motorville. Come on, buddy. <laughs> he, like, stops to, like, turn around every once in a while as if I'm not following him. I'm still following you, buddy. Man, come on. What are you, What's going on here? I guess, like... He runs faster than me. So he gets ahead of me. And then it has to, like, turn around if... If only you ran at the same speed that I was running. Be good. Oh my gosh, we were just, like, over by here. So why was I never born in this world, Mr. Conductor? Well, when your soulmate severed the connection between you, you were cast adrift in the space between worlds. That's where you were when your mother saved you. When I say your mother, I mean the Great Sage, of course. The one with all the spells. But there are worlds where that did not happen. Worlds where you were not saved. Worlds where you were not born, and this is one of them. A world where you weren't born, eh? Crikey. So, uh, why did you bring me to this world, Mr. Conductor? Haha, -ha. oh, you'll see. You'll soon see. But there's a very special shop we need to visit first. I'm sure you know which one I mean. Is it this one? Little shop, little shop, oh, little, 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 are you okay, buddy? I'm going in here because the there's a little blue circle that's lighting up in here. Oh, <laughs> hello. Can I just talk to you? I just finished my chores and now I'm going to the park to play ball with my friends. Do you want to come with us? I'm pitching. Oh yeah, you don't know who I am. Please, it is nearly time for one's afternoon repast. Uh, one must not be disturbed. Who else? Anybody else in here? It's a giant bag of sugar. Uh, all right. Uh, Oliver, so good to see you again. Now you've had a chance to look around. I'd be very interested to know what you think of this world. Well, it's sort of goofy, and there's a ton of strange stuff going on, but it's kind of fun, too. Fun? This place? Hmm. I've been to places that were less fun, I suppose. Well, well, thank you for your kind words. I'm glad we have your seal of approval. Uh, we? Is this your world, then? That's right. This is my world. Probably. Probably? You remember what I said, don't you? About how you were never born in this world? In this world, you weren't saved by your mother. You remained a floating soul. But I found the place where all floating souls end up. That's when I decided to go and see you in the other world. 
That's when I open the door. So, uh, does this mean... That's right. I am you in this world. I am the you that was never saved by your mother. Giant... A tall guy with a rabbit mask. I see. Do you? I flip and don't. This is getting proper weird, this is. Unlike me, you knew your mother, but even you couldn't save her in the end. Still, you had a wonderful adventure. I'm quite jealous, I must say. Mr. Conductor? <laughs> don't look so glum, Oliver. It really doesn't suit you. Now, I know I've already taken up too much of your time, but there's one more thing I'd like to show you, after all. After all, wait, after all you've been through, the least I can do is make your dream come true. I do believe your adventure is about to start anew. Please, open the final door. Is it this one? Is this the final door? Hey, Ollie. Oh, weird. Right at the beginning of the game. Over here. Huh? All right. Weird. Good thing you found me. Guess what? She's finally ready. You mean? What else would it be, dum dum? Jeepers! Can he really mean? <laughs> Sorry, I kept you waiting, Ollie. So, you mean you built this? Sure, I did. Listen to that engine purr. Come on, Ollie. You're in the driving seat. Uh, I'm in the driving seat. Well, <laughs> does this, uh, does it, oh, wow, well, we're back in your world, Mr. Drippy. Look, Ollie boy, someone stuck a letter to this car by here under the wiper, see? Uh, a letter? Dearest Oliver, I trust you are well. I wanted you to know how grateful I am to you for coming to see my world. By way of thanks, I've decided to make an old dream of yours come true. I present to you the Filmmobile 2000. Well, my dream was to see my mom again. Uh, I am sure you can't wait to get behind this wheel, so here's what you need to know. You steer with the left uh, the left joystick thingy, uh, and that's about it. I dare say you'll find a little different to the other modes of transport you, uh, transport you used, but I'm sure you'll pick it up in no time at all. Whenever you want to take it for a spin, use the Filmmobile key or press the down thingy. Uh, whenever you want to hop out, just press A. Uh, now it's time for you to hit the open road. Drive safe, your friend, the conductor. Whoa, how did Phil's car, our car? Nice. No stamps. Wait. This doesn't... Okay, so pressing up... Oh, man, this thing goes... <laughs> this thing hauls. <laughs> what is going on here? This is ridiculous. All right, all right, all right, all right, all right. <laughs> Can I ramp off this? No, I can't go up there. Can't go down there. Okay, so I can't ramp off things. I mean, it does make me go fast, to, I guess. Is everything scared of me in this thing? I don't know that this was really my dream. I really just wanted to see my mother. Also, like... I mean, kind of cool, but I also have a flying dragon. I don't know how useful this is in the grand scheme of things, if I'm being honest. Like, I'm not trying to be ungrateful, Mr. Conductor, but at this point in the game, I don't know if this is, like, what I needed. <laughs> Maybe, like, a cool weapon to the, uh, the, the Temple of Trials or whatever would have been, would have been great. Uh, alright, well, let's frickin' drive over here, I guess. 
Woo! All right. All right, we're done with that. I will, I don't know if I'll ever be in that thing again. It might be pretty fun in the, uh, the, the, by, like, Alma Moon and stuff, like, in the dunes. Like a dune buggy. Uh, all right, well, anyway, guys, that is, uh, that is the conductor quest. We finally finished it. Uh, we do have some errands to get through, uh, two, like, question mark errands, and, of course, like, the, the War Gods Axe, which I don't think I'm ever gonna do. Uh, it's been too busy. Can, uh, collecting the ingredients is a real pain in the butt. Uh, let's go see, I just want to see this real quick. If there's anything else that, like, popped up. No bounty hunts. How about the errand board? Oh, we did get a new one. Oh, is this... Okay, I'm waiting... Is that, uh, what's-his-face that I can never... Re I can never remember his name, and it comes back to me. Horse. <laughs> there we go. Uh, we already did that, though, I thought. Because he gave us Astra, so maybe he, he does something else. But we have a couple more here, like Golden Grove and, uh, the Knights, and then, uh, Horus as well. Maybe we'll save the Horus one for, like, the very end or whatever. Uh, might check out some of the other question marks. And then, of course, we still have the Temple of Trials to get through. We got quite a few more episodes to go in this series. Uh, but anyway, that is where I'm going to leave things off. Thank you guys so much for watching this episode. Hopefully you guys did enjoy. If you did enjoy, please definitely drop a like and a comment below. And while you're at it, go ahead and hit that subscribe button if you are not subscribed already. And I'll catch you guys on the next episode.